Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. Today is Saturday the 1st of February 2020 and I'm about to spend seven days using a Raspberry Pi 4 as my only computer. This should be a good test of the Raspberry Pi Foundation's claim that you can use a Raspberry Pi 4 as a low-end desktop PC. So let's go and get started. Right, the Raspberry Pi 4 I'll be using this week is a this 4GB model, which is currently fitted as you can see in this two-part heatsink case, though I think later in the week when I take the Pi with me on my travels, I'll probably move it into this uh, Kodi branded Flirk case. For a fast storage and backup during the week, I'm going to be using a this SanDisk SSD, which connects to the Pi 4 by a USB 3. And I'll clearly also be connecting other things to the USB ports on the Pi. Not least, I'll be using a mouse. This will be the official Raspberry Pi mouse. And I'll also be using the, the official Raspberry Pi 4 power supply. And uh, the mouse and the power supply came with the Raspberry Pi 4 in the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit that I was sent to review by the Raspberry Pi Foundation last summer, about 10 days before the highly secret launch of the Pi 4. The kit also included an official Raspberry Pi keyboard, which I thought I'll also use this week. So as it's time for me now to check my email, I'm going to get everything connected up and go online, check my email and my social media, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Greetings. Here we are in the Raspbian on the Raspberry Pi 4. It's now Sunday. Sunday the uh, 2nd of February, it's almost two o'clock, and uh, my Raspberry Pi 4 week is currently going very well. I've been investigating the use of things like Caden Live and Audacity and Blender on the Pi 4, because I'm hoping to use these to edit this video on the Pi 4. But I'll tell you more about that tomorrow, because today we're going to turn the video in a different way. I thought we'd first of all check out YouTube playback on the Pi 4. So I think bookmarked here, I've got uh, my sample 1080p clip, and uh, Video performance on the Pi 4 in the Chromium browser has improved significantly uh, since I uh, first looked at this in my tests back in, what, June uh, 2019. Playback is pretty good. I've been watching YouTube on the Pi 4 without any issues. We'll just bring up stats for nerds. Playback is not perfect. There are some drop frames, as you can see up here. But realistically, you can now watch video on a Pi 4 without uh, any problems, which is clearly a very good news. I'm very pleased with that. So uh, that's, that's a relief. I'll be able to watch YouTube nicely all week without reverting to other software like Kodi and things. I can just watch it in a browser on the Pi 4. So uh, let's come out of that. Let's go to my own channel because of course it is a Sunday and uh, about two o'clock. So if I go to, uh, I think that's my own channel. Is that my own channel? There it is coming up. Oh, it's exciting this time of the week. What's going on? And if I just go, uh, let's give us a whole screen to play with like that. And uh, has my next video gone live? Yes, look, 41 seconds ago, my uh, latest video went up. This is very strange because of course, a lot of this is the, is the, uh, the past view, the future for me. We've got videos here on, uh, for example, the Raspberry Pi Zero hamster feeder. That's next week's video for, for, for me. And the week after is that one there, but you've already seen them. Anyway, things are clearly working. Let's show you a YouTube studio on the Raspberry Pi 4. YouTube Studio not renowned for being a very rapid web application, shall we say. So if the Pi 4 can handle YouTube Studio, it can handle pretty much anything on online, I think. So let's just go to uh, Analytics. It's always very exciting this time on a Sunday. What is going on? See if people are looking at the new video. I always take a little look at my uh, real-time stats on a Sunday around this time. Pi 4 is not performing that badly. It's not as fast as using a, an i7, I will admit, but uh, it's not too bad. There we are, new video is there, and hopefully gaining some views. Some of you are watching. Is this you, I wonder? It must be some of you. Uh, we've got some views coming up. Yes, we've got a few views in the first uh, minute or so. That's the first, literally the first minute, isn't it? And uh, I'll just check out the comments, because of course, gotta check the comments. Been answering loads of comments here on the Pi 4 and YouTube this morning. Uh, again, performance, it's, it's usable. I found yesterday I was starting to use the Pi 4 for web-based stuff and just getting on with it and really forgetting I was on the Pi. There we are, look, uh, that person is first. They are first. Let's give them a 
you are indeed gold medal to you today. There we are. That's good. So I will uh, now get on and answer a few more of my uh, YouTube comments here on the Pi 4, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Greetings. Here I am again. It's now a uh, Monday, about uh, almost 20 past four, very civilised time of day, and I thought I'd show you how I'm getting on editing this video on the Raspberry Pi 4. And all of my footage is in ProRes format. It's either being captured from the Pi using my Blackmagic Design Video SS 4K, which records to uh, SD cards, or it's recorded from a camera and uh, captured to an Atomos Ninja, which records directly to uh, an SSD. And that SSD can be connected to the Pi in the appropriate caddy, and that's how the footage has got here. So the way I'm doing editing is using Caden Live. And what I'm doing is bringing in each day's footage and making a segment and exporting that. So what we can see here is the footage from uh, yesterday. It gets very confusing, this video, doesn't it? And this is uh, showing us what was going on yesterday. This is the original ProRes footage, so it does play with a few little uh, bumps here and there, but it does actually work. And what I've done is exported that to produce, uh, for example, yesterday's segment. And if I also show you the footage from uh, Saturday, let's just bring in my uh, introduction here. This has caused me a few problems because normally I shoot my introductions against green screen. But for this video, I thought I'm going to shoot them against white rather than green because that'll make my life a little bit easier. So I just put an extra light into place and uh, that's what, what I did. And if we look at the project monitor here, you can see this is my setup in Caden Live using these elements. So here I've got an element for me, which is a uh, background there. And you can see I've got a mask on the top layer, which is I think this one here, which adds in the little logo thing. And I've got the top here, I've got the animation which pulls in my little logo. And that, of course, I brought across as a stock. This thing plays rather slowly because this is actually non-compressed video, that animation, but uh, it is basically that. So my idea was I'd actually put this segment together for the introduction, render it out to a piece of video, put it into my final edit. But unfortunately, that's not working because if I do render that out, let's show you what happened. I end up with, um, there's a file, where is it, over here somewhere. Let's find my uh, final output. All sorts of files being created here. This is my test of that. I've done many, many, many tests. And as you can see, it's not quite right. There's a bit missing, which is me. It's doing a little uh, logo -y thing. It's doing compositions fine, but it won't put me into the composition. And this apparently sometimes happens with a Caden Live. So what I've done, let's just come out of Caden Live. I've found another way to do this. Shall we save this? No, I just was showing you. Let's go to Blender. Blender is ordinarily a 3D modeling package, but it can also do things like compositing and video editing, all kinds of, of wacky stuff. And you can run it, as you can see, on the Raspberry Pi very well, actually. Let's go to uh, the video editing view in Blender. And uh, here we find my uh, recent file. Let's go to it over there. I've been doing various tests and versions of this. Here we are. Here's me again in Blender. And you can see down here, this footage here is the uh, footage of me. Again, we can turn on off. I disappear. There's a mask on the top. And again, we've got the little uh, transformy thing there, which is the, the logo coming in and out. So what I'm going to do is to render this out in Blender. I haven't tried this yet. You're seeing this with me live. It'll probably take a little while. So let's hit a render there to render out the animation. I think, yes, this will take a while to go through its uh, 1009 frames. So uh, we'll let that go through and transition forward in time. And uh, here we are, it's now about a quarter past five look on Monday. So uh, almost time for a cup of tea. Anyway, Blender has finished. It took about 18 minutes to render out that about 40 seconds of animation. And uh, not only is Blender finished, but I've also had time to put that shot into the edit. This is the edit of the final film. And if I uh, hit the space bar here, Yes, it is playing. This is an explaining computers video being made on the Raspberry Pi 4, which is kind of weird because you've already seen this. There have been moments over the past 24 hours that this is not going to work. This is too much of a stretch. But as you can see, we've got a composite there for the introduction with everything working and it's playing out and the little things moving around. We're watching proxy clips here in Caden uh, Live. So this is not full quality, but the full quality will be there when we render out the final files and everything is working. This is really good. I'm slightly confused by having a film inside a film. If you see what I mean, I'll have to go and lie down after having a look at this. But basically, 
this is working. We're now going into a yesterday look, and yesterday is playing here on the on the Pi 4 in in Blender. So as you can see, editing the film on the uh, the Pi 4 is definitely possible. It's actually working. I pre-rendered the little uh, transitions here, the intertitles for each day. I anticipated those for the start of this week and did those in After Effects, brought them in. But everything done this week is happening on the Pi 4, so it actually is is working. So. Uh, I'm very impressed with this. I'm going to continue to check my edit through and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. It's now Sunday, Sunday here. Stepping foot in the door. Greetings and facilitations. Here I am back again. It's now uh, Tuesday, the uh, what the 4th of February it says up there, almost a quarter to seven in the evening. And it's been a very busy day today. I've been doing lots of different things here on the Raspberry Pi 4, but not Video editing. For start, I spent quite a bit of time online, checking up on YouTube, of course, but I've also today been doing various uh, admin things for my speaking business. I've been booking quite a few trains online. Lots of clients seem to have confirmed things that they've been booking in the past couple of days. I've even booked a, a hotel. I've booked to stay at this hotel, the McDonald Linden Hall Golf and Country Club, where I'm going to be speaking in a few weeks' time about nine o'clock in the morning, and it's a long way from here, so I'm going to stay there a night before. It seemed easiest to stay at the place I was speaking at, so I've been booking that. I've also been working on graphics and things for this video. This is one of the intertitles for this video. These were all pre-generated before this week started, but I might want to change them. So I thought I'd see if I could edit them in Photopea, which does all the Photoshop layer styles and things absolutely perfectly. That's, that's rather good, and I've proved that uh, Photopea works uh, perfectly well here on the uh, the Raspberry Pi 4, so that's good news. And I've also been doing some uh, graphics work in uh, GIMP, which is uh, running up there. I've been trying to work out uh, what the thumbnail for this video might be. It might be this image here I've been uh, working on there. And I've also been working on the, the mask I was uh, looking at for the, the opening shot. I've been tweaking that a bit. I might need it again for the closing shot. Who knows? The other thing I've been working on has been a bit of uh, audio, which uh, is up there, I think. Uh, what I always do when I make videos is to export out the audio from the video editor and work on it in an audio editor. Normally that's Adobe Audition. I really do like Adobe Audition, but here on the Pi I can't run that, so I'm running Audacity. And in particular, one of the things I have to do every time I've recorded from a computer is I end up with the audio split, as you can see here. The audio at the top here is uh, my voice from the microphone, and the audio at the bottom is audio from the computer. And obviously, in the final video, you don't want to have me in one ear and the computer in the other if you're listening on headphones or earbuds or something. So I have to combine these into a final file that looks more like, uh, more like that. So that's something I've been working on today. So it's been a productive day working here on the Raspberry Pi 4, and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Right. Here I am back again. It's now uh, Wednesday the 5th of February, just after half past two. And as you can see, I've been working on the edit. It now extends out to include the footage from uh, Monday, all that editing stuff, the very exciting stuff, and the slightly less exciting stuff from yesterday, graphics, audio, etc. It's almost 13 minutes long now. And uh, I think I'll just save this and uh, come out of it because uh, I've actually done a, a test render of this already, which is sitting there. I rendered to the end of Monday, the first about 10 minutes of the video, just to see if it was working. And it seems it is working. It's working OK. It produces a decent final quality footage, which obviously matters quite a bit. There we are. And uh, some slight problem there on the end of the cross dissolves, but never mind. Other than that, might have to leave those. But uh, the edit's going all right. It took about half an hour to render that out. Don't know how long it'll take to render out the final film, but I will let you know in the end. Anyway, the main thing I'm doing today is not actually to do with video editing. It's uh, to do with the fact I'm doing a lecture tomorrow. I've got a three hour lecture in the University of Nottingham on 3D printing, and I've been using the Pi to prepare to deliver that. But to show you exactly what I'm doing, I now need to uh, switch operating systems. So I need to uh, close down and come back to you in a second. And an SD card swap and a reboot later, here we are in Manjaro on the Raspberry Pi 4, which is a, a very nice operating system to run on the Pi 4. This is running the uh, KDE Plasma desktop, which is a bit graphically heavy for the Pi 4, but it, it looks beautiful. You can run the LXDE desktop for Manjaro on the Pi 4, but uh, I happen to have this uh, SD card available. 
And the reason I'm using it is when I tried to uh, play my slides and work on my PowerPoint slides for my lecture in Raspbian using uh, LibreOffice, they just crashed every single time. I took the Pi into horrible states of crashing and having to restart it again and again and again. Clearly wasn't going to work. And I thought, I'll try another distro. And I've tried this one and this works absolutely fine. So I've got my videos ready to play here as part of a lecture. I've got a video here on powder bed fusion. I remember shooting this at the 3D print show many years ago, very difficult to shoot. I do love this process. You can see the uh, metal being sintered there on the surface by the laser. You can't see the laser, you can see the sintering going on. A bit like sparklers, isn't it? And then we get another layer of metal powder brushed into place like that, and it continues. I could talk for hours about 3D printing. I've got to talk for about three hours about 3D printing tomorrow. Anyway, I've got the videos there, the slides are also working fine in here in Manjaro in LibreOffice. If I go to slideshow, they will come up and work. There we are. Lecture slots off with some uh, reading. Always good to take students through the reading, isn't it? Hope everyone does all the reading because it's very good to read lots of stuff like that. And then we'll start talking about um, traditional manufacturing and how things are made today and how they can be made and help to be made using 3D printers. And we'll talk about all the different technologies and all that type of stuff. It'll be very exciting. Anyway, I will continue preparing for my lecture and uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Greetings. Here I am back again. It's now uh, Thursday the 6th of February. It's uh, quite early in the morning and I've arrived at the University of Nottingham where I'm going to be doing my lecture in this very lecture theatre fairly soon. Outside it's a cold and a frosty morning. It's a very misty morning this morning as I was coming in, but in here it's uh, nice and warm because of course we've got heating. And uh, talking of technology, I've got the Raspberry Pi 4 all connected up to the lecture theatre system. You can see it up on the screen here. The uh, ARM version of Manjaro is working very nicely, bringing up LibreOffice, going into the slides. That all works uh, very well. And uh, if you look down here, you can see how the Pi is connected to the console, connected into it thinks it's a laptop HDMI. It isn't a laptop, of course. It's a Raspberry Pi 4. And as you can see, I've got it in the uh, Kodi branded Fluke case, which seemed a better case to bring it out on the road, as it were, and I brought along the Pi uh, keyboard and mouse to keep it company, and of course run it here in the lecture theatre. So uh, everything is working very well. Right now the room is uh, completely empty other than me, all these chairs are waiting for students to arrive, but uh, the screen is showing the slides, everything should be working absolutely fine for the lecture, starting here at uh, 9 o'clock. So uh, I think now I'm going to turn my attention to the lecture and away from you, but I will talk to you again tomorrow, which will be the last day, the, the very end of a Raspberry Pi 4 week. Well, here we are on Friday the 7th of February, towards the end of the day, and my Raspberry Pi 4 week is coming to an end. And I'm pleased to say it's worked very well. I've been very impressed with the Raspberry Pi 4 this week. You can certainly use it as a low-end desktop PC. Not least the fact that this video has been edited or is being edited on the Raspberry Pi 4 is impressive, I think. Uh, I can't tell you right now how long it takes to render out the final file, because obviously I've not rendered out the final video yet, but I'll put the information in the video description. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Uh -oh.